So what exactly is the Christ Consciousness? Hey guys, John here in the studio on another gray day outside. Uh, it's in the 30s, high 30s right now. But, you know, it's still not snowing, so it's good. <laughs> um, I'm, I wanted to hop on and talk about the concept of Christ Consciousness. This is a very interesting terminology because it's, it's a mishmash. The idea of a Christ Consciousness is a mishmash. Um, the word Christ means anointed one. It, it comes from ancient Greek, and it's, it's based upon the concept of a, a Jewish Messiah. So it, it's literally about, historically, about being the Messiah or this one person singled out as the Messiah. To call someone Christ in, in those times would never have been thought of as a collective in any, any way, shape, or form. It wasn't until the, the, the New Age movement started to mesh more with Christianity that they started to create this concept of a Christ consciousness. Now, when you look at the concept of Christ consciousness, you, you have a whole different perspective. And I, I see people all the time who, who use it in various different forms and very frequently not the same way. They all have a different understanding of what they think it is. This to me is, a, is very interesting because it's, it's very much what happens with any religion as well as, as, or any dogmatic spiritual belief. People will start to take and interpret things to mean what they want it to mean, and then they'll they'll start speaking it as if that is the truth of the meaning of the word. And you know, you may often see me mention the fact that ego only means the awareness of the self, but now people think of it as um, being a narcissist, or they think of it as the egoic mind is the battle that you're fighting against. And none of those things have anything to do with the word. what the word means. The word only means that I am aware that I exist, and I'm aware of my individuality. That's all the word ego means. So people start to take, take words and they start to add things to them. Christ consciousness has become a, a new age belief about this, this level of awareness that you come to this level of the Christ consciousness, right? But they're using terminology that, that would be completely antithetical to their concept that they're delivering, the Christ consciousness, right? People would say, well, Buddha had the Christ consciousness. Well, Buddha wouldn't have had the Christ consciousness because there was no such thing as the Christ consciousness until the New Age movement created that, that idea, that belief. When I see, hear things like this, I see just another label being created. And I see that frequently. People will create a label around something and not realizing what they're doing is creating new dogma. Right? In my first regression... The, the quote that stands out the most is, it's so simple we have a hard time comprehending it. And you'll often see me on, respond to comments on the videos. Uh, when someone says something very convoluted, I'll say something, I think it's all far simpler. Um, and I do. I think it's so simple we have a hard time comprehending it, just like I said during the regression. When you come back to that space of realizing that when you started creating levels of awareness, you're actually taking yourself further and further away from being one. And the Father and I are one. You know, when you come back to the idea that everything is, is one with, with, with God, you know, there's a oneness. Uh, when you start creating level, you start creating delineations in oneness. So you start getting further and further away from oneness. So this Christ consciousness being a level of awareness is literally a pathway away from yourself which is a pathway away from your oneness with God. What Jeshua taught was, taught was the oneness with God. It wasn't a labeled consciousness level that you must reach in any way, shape, or form. His whole thing was greater works than I have done, you will do, period. There wasn't this, this construct of levels or, or vibrations or resonance or frequencies or anything these are all very modern terms trying to wrap their, the, their terminologies around something far more simple. And when you look at the simplicity of, of the idea of letting go of all belief and coming back to your oneness with God, because you realize that all of the beliefs are just pathways away from yourself. They are just the things that delineate you from oneness. 
you have all these religions, you know, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, Baha'i, Islam, uh, Taoism, Shinto. We have all these beliefs. But, but they all say you have to believe our way, which delineates you from everything else being one. So they separate themselves out. Christianity being the, the biggest culprit in this and saying that you know, Jesus is the only one, the Son of God, the Messiah, everything else, everybody else is flat out wrong. And when you look at that perspective, it's like how far away from the oneness of God could they be when they've put barriers around themselves to say everybody else in the world is wrong? And when you look at it from that perspective, you start to realize that that when you start thinking in terms of Christ consciousness and chakras and levels of awareness and all these delineations and, and ideas as just structures created around something that needs no structure. And so when I hear people talk about the Christ consciousness, the first thing I think is just release all those beliefs, including the Christ consciousness, and you'll find the oneness of God, which is what Jeshua, Buddha, Krishna, and all the rest were talking about. And so when I hear Christ consciousness, I, I truly do see it as a pathway away from yourself and a pathway away from oneness and just another new age dogma in my, in my mind. And so I just wanted to hop on and say this because I see that terminology bandied about and it, usually it's, it's bandied about in ways that it doesn't mean the same thing each time it's used. So I wanted to make sure you understand that it's, it's all far simpler. Come back to your oneness with God. Just exhale and be there and let everything else go. That's my thought on this. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.